How many of you guys are on birth control right now? Hell no. Yeah, me not touching nope. that. No, nope. nope. you're nope. not on hormonal birth control. No, wow. no one at this table is on hormonal no. birth control. Really? I swear it's why it's... I feel like I'm so chill. Wow. Yeah. Okay. There, oh, so you I... tried it before, and then what happened? Yes. Uh, just. Oh God, it just makes you emotional. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. that there's a definitive line between girls that take birth control and girls that don't. Pass. Have the ladies noticed any difference of guys they're into when they're off birth control versus on birth control? Great question. Did you notice any difference? Yes. And I actually, from being to the doctor, they say that's a thing that happens. You can actually be more attracted to a male that you're with. Uh, while you're on birth control, and then the second you go off of it, your hormones change, and you're no longer attracted Jesus to them. Jesus Christ. Basically, the way it works is when women, right before, uh, the week before they ovulate, mm -hmm. they're more attracted to men that have more masculine features. There have been several studies that have been replicated that show this. Mm -hmm. that it's women called ovulatory shift. Yeah, so there's an ovulatory shift that happens, and women are more attracted. They tend to wear red colors, and they tend to be more attracted to men that are... Hoop earrings. Yeah, and they, they tend to be uh, more no attracted lie. to men who have, like, symmetrical... In, uh, masculine features and what happens is when you're on birth control this doesn't happen anymore and you end up with this is this is not my words but somebody else's words these women will end up marrying ma men who are much more beta much more feminine looking than what they're normally attracted to then when they try to have kids they get off the birth control and they look at over the over what their, their, their fucking weak chinned <laughs> husband and they're like what the fuck is this and then divorces happen then massive amount of divorces i understand that though because when you're on birth control you're way more emotional i feel like your mental um equilibrium's a little bit off. So you're gonna need a man that is more beta that's gonna listen to your shit and put up with your crying and put up mm -hmm. with you being emotional. Whereas when you're off of it, you're more stable so you can have a more masculine man that's gonna put you in your place when you're acting out. He's gonna be like, cut that shit out. So I, I totally agree with that. I, yeah, I- be with an alpha. I had to get off of it because every time my period would come, it was like, a super emotional Good for twins. no reason and i would yeah. have like really bad fights with my boyfriends and mm. yeah did you notice and that also you were well lib libido did you notice uh, attraction that was different when you were on it or attraction to different types of men when you were on it or uh, off it? no no i don't think see that's so. that's a common thing so so here's the thing i know i don't know if you and i have ever had this conversation before but um one of the things when we we're talking about uh like ovulatory shift. Really what it is, is it's throughout a woman's menstrual cycle, there's the first 14 days and then there's the last uh, up to 28 days, right? So it's a 28 day cycle. So between day one and day seven, <laughs> I know he's gonna, here we go. Between day one and day seven mm. is when you get really bitchy and that's the uh, premenstrual uh, uh, syndrome comes through there, okay? So, but from like seven to 14, that's when you're ovulating and that's when it's time to go do a girl's night or go, hey, let's go to Vegas and what happens right. in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Um, and so then the egg drops and then you go into what's called the luteal phase and that's the phase in which like women tend to be more attracted to more feminized features. They're looking for a comfort and rapport. You go get your girls around you and that's when you call your beta boyfriend and say, oh, he's so f***ed up. I can't believe my help man. You know, I, I f***ed him last week, whatever. Um, that's when you get the, the guys who are like sort of like a beta orbiter to so give you that comfort and everything. And then right towards the end of that cycle, right around 20, like about the 28 days point right there, that's when you go into being real bitchy and you push away all the all the betas and all the all the uh, orbiters and you go back into the cycle once again. And by the way, I didn't know if you were aware of this, but it also emulates pregnancy. And you're the only one that I know at this table has been pregnant. So mm -hmm. you've heard of the, did you go through a nesting phase when you were like, when you were pregnant? Did you like want to like stay at home and, and eat yeah, like mac totally. and cheese totally, and, yeah. and be comfortable and like sort of in that nesting phase? And be phase? home, yeah. yeah. So what, what happens is after right after, when you go into the luteal phase, <laughs> <laughs> it goes uh there's a kind of like a smaller a a, a lower scaled uh nesting phase so if the body thinks a female body thinks that it's pregnant then it goes into like oh i better get all my girls around me because i i might be pregnant and so therefore i'm going to need support and i'm going to need uh mm. you know uh, uh the the village to kind of help me out here and then they real then the body realizes that it isn't and that goes back into the cycle once again you go and start looking for guys who are more alpha and that's where the the idea is is that that um, hormonal birth control pushes that pushes that down now some people will say well um, there's been some studies where what you guys experienced was I, I was with a guy, he was very beta, I went off of hormonal birth control and I'm like, what am I, it's like waking up from you know some stupor, like, oh my gosh, what am I doing with this guy? But Marty, Dr. Marty Hazelton, um, uh, as, as far as I've been able to find out in her book, Hormonal, um, it doesn't necessarily like eliminate that, that want for the alpha, it just compresses mm. all of that, like the luteinizing hormone and progesterone and mm. everything. So it's not so much like it eliminates the alpha 
alpha fox side of, yeah. of that. It just it depresses it and convert. So when uh, when you go off of it, it all spikes up again. Once like going off of say like TRT or something, yeah. your, all, your, all your hormones come back up again. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, did you notice before or after on birth control? Do you notice any difference in who you were attracted to? Um, I mean, no, not really, but I definitely did notice I would be more of a psycho when I was like, when you're on it, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And yeah. I mean, isn't it what only like six days out of the month that a woman can actually get pregnant? Yeah, so I mean, that was another reason that I went off it. I was like, it's just not worth the emotional like turmoil yeah. and all that, so right, yeah. Uh, how about you? Did you notice any difference on and off birth control? Um, I was on birth control for like seven years straight, and so I didn't even realize the difference until I tried taking a few months break. Usually whenever I was in a relationship, that's when I get on birth control because then I'm consistently having sex. I... <clears throat> Thank you, Brian. And then, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I realized being off of it, how much crazier I felt trying to get back on it. And I, I just, I took a break and decided to not go back. Yep, yeah. copper IUD for the win. Yeah, they, they wrote that in the chat. I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like like things stuck inside me that freaks me out. So it's just so how, you're all how natural. Do you, wait, how do you ever have sex? Oh, my, my bad. Forget it. I'm sorry. Do you want me to answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> what what was crazy when I was on birth control, because I was on it since I was like 16 or something, mm -hmm. I noticed by my 20s, I, ha I even got to a point where I didn't even want sex. My libido was so down. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't want it at all. I didn't care for it. Mm. You're in the adult industry and you didn't this, want well, this. Sex. No, but this is, so uh. this is before the adult industry uh. and I, I noticed something and so I just consciously am, you know, a little bit into like homeopathic mm -hmm. um, remedies and I was like, you know, I'm just going off. I tried every mm -hmm. method, the pill, the ring, the whatever the copper uh the <laughs> iud i did everything and i was like you know what just i'm gonna go away with it and after i got off it my libido was Back through the roof was. and i guess yeah i stumbled in the adult industry stumbled <laughs> <laughs> what am i doing here how did i appear <laughs> <Just fell. laughs> whoops 